welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server. Still haven't made much, actually no progress on rebuilding the house. And it may take me a little while, but uh, what I'm going to do is mostly because I just need something to actually do to be occupying myself. I'm going to do some branch mining. I don't have to because I've got a mining turtle and I could set that thing going, and I might, but I need something to do. So, I'm going to start out, I'm going to make a mining drill, I'm going to upgrade it to a diamond drill, and then I'm going to see about maybe can I get the advanced diamond drill. Let's see, what do we need for that? 10k coolant, and it's uh, water or water cells surrounded by tin. Okay. I think I can manage this. So we need some refined iron, an electronic circuit, and a battery. Okay. Refined iron. And we actually have an electronic circuit left over from last time. Good. And I have a battery left over from uh, when I was doing the grinding on the uh, force infuser book. Alright, so... Okay, actually, shift click. Alright, that doesn't work. Click, we'll just get the ghost patterns and fill it all in. Alright, now we upgrade that to a diamond drill, just three diamonds. This advanced diamond drill, two advanced circuits, three overclocker upgrades, and we're in business. And it holds more EU. So do I have any glowstone? No, I do not. I'm just completely out of glowstone. Because I didn't have all that much to begin with, because what I had, I had found in uh, mining. Because uh, there's some of these things... Oh, wait a minute, that reminds me... I know I've got some wool, and sticks are not a problem. Get a scoop, and now let's head down below. See, things like this that I had found in mining several times. This block, I couldn't break it with any kind of a pick. I didn't know I, I had no idea what it is. Because uh, one thing I've noticed is that everybody else has this tool tip. Well, it's kind of a tool tip. It appears in the top center of the screen. And it shows you the name of the item your cursor, your reticule at the center of the screen is pointed at. For some reason, I don't have that. And I have no idea why, or how, or what mod does that, or what. I mean, I've even tried going in and turning on the held item tool tips that puts that annoying thing at the bottom of the, you know, over there by the uh, toolbar to let you know what you're holding. You know, I turned that off because it's like, please, I know what a diamond pickaxe is. But anyway, I found out that this thing is a hive. And a scoop is what you need to break a hive. Might as well grab this end stone while I'm here. So, now I know what to do with those things. When I find them, I will break the scoop. I got an oblivion princess. That's cool. And I figured out something else too. You'll notice here we've got flat bedrock. Flat bedrock means that the branch mine can go down an additional level. How about that? So, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do some plain old branch mining for a while. And, uh, gather up glowstone as I find some. And then we'll get working on some other things. And eventually, I will get my base restored. All right, it occurred to me that I've got this new diamond, this new diamond drill. I might as well use it. And of course, to do that, I'm going to need to have external power 
because the 10,000 EU it has it goes through pretty quickly. So, stop here and I'm going to make a backpack which is refined iron, that circuit, and six batteries. Electronic circuit, ten ingot. Oh, all right. There's the bat pack, and of course, the lap pack is the logical upgrade from that. Let's make that circuit advance. Oh crap! I need glowstone for that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make up the lapis blocks now. Oh, that went wrong. Six lapis blocks. That will take care of that need. I'll go ahead and pop this stuff away in here. And, uh... I'm going to go ahead and charge up this drill and this backpack, and I'm going to go mining. All right, I have just finished digging out like nine more branches, and I've decided I don't want to do any more digging for right now. And in all that nine branches, I didn't find a single one of those bloody glowstone pockets. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to drop off this glass, at least most of it, and I'm going to get out the bone meal that I have, and I'm going to get some of this yellow force brick, oh, it figures, it just figures, I'm having a banner day here, can't you tell? All right. I figure at the very least I've got enough stuff here I can lay out the outline of the place. And then once I get enough bone meal I will see about uh, finishing the whole structure, although I'm still going to have to come up with some cactus. And yes, I know you can use uh, other ways, like the minium stone, to come up with green dye. And if push comes to shove, I'll do that, but... Call me stubborn. I want the cactus. You know, it's that simple. And so, I'm going to get it eventually. Meanwhile, I'm going to start laying this place out and see how much of it I can do with the uh, amount of white brick that I've got. Well, I've managed to recover some of it. And uh, a lot of this is not right because the corners, I had a, uh, I, I had it trimmed in blue. And I don't think I, oh, I have a few, so let's go ahead and throw them in there. sort of like that around the corners and I had blue stairs inverted along the edge of the top but uh, I don't have enough of that for right for doing that right now now coming down through here the uh, 
uh, main corridor. And then here there's a three wide gap for a doorway. But the doorway is only too high. And then coming into this area here, this was a 9 by 9 room. And not the basic 9 by 9 of Dire Wolf 20 fame, but this is a 9 by 9 where 9 by 9 is the interior dimensions. And I may end up having to move that door. And similarly, over here is another three block wide door for another 9x9 nine nine doorway, 9x9 nine nine room. Okay. This was the entryway, so on. This room having a window into it, this one not. This room here was 9x9 nine nine interior dimensions and fairly tall considerably taller than the rest of the place because this was the computer room. This is where the AE system was supposed to be set up. And back there, my bedroom. Back here, I believe this was to be um, a Thomcraft room, Thomcraft research room. And the windows might come out because of that, I don't know. And then back here, not 9x9, nine nine, just like this is not 9x9, nine nine. I think it was like 5x5 five five or something like that. Uh, this room would be a library, and this was my bedroom. And that was pretty much what the first floor, the first level of the place was supposed to be like. Uh... The catch is that I'm not entirely certain about all of the layout, and I don't have any more bone meal right now, so doing anything more is going to have to wait when I run out of these white bricks. But, I suppose it's good that I've at least gotten... some kind of a start. I don't remember where the doorway was in this wall, or that wall over there for that matter. So I'm just going to oh, get off of there, you imbecile. Well, it is now the next morning, and I've made some progress. And some of that involves building and tearing down and building again and building and tearing down and building again a time or two, trying to get the dimensions of everything right the way I had it before. And I think I'm getting there. In the meanwhile, there's been a couple of visitors come by. We've got uh, Hypnos come by with some cactus, sand to grow it on, and even a couple of desert hives. And that's cool. Uh, apparently, uh, I think he... Uh, got a hold of some cactus in a mistcraft dimension. Uh, I know he was talking about doing something like that. And Slipgator's been by with a stack of ink sacks. So that's cool as well. Very cool. It uh, is going to make it easier to proceed. But at the moment, I've kind of reached the point where I think what I need to do is to go ahead, and gear up, get into the nether, because I need two things that I can get from the nether and the first of which is glowstone so stop in here I got a second macerator built I also got a couple of overclockers in each one and I've macerated up a bunch of coal So that I can make raw carbon fibers. Ow. Oh. 
take these raw carbon fiber like so and get raw carbon mesh. The raw carbon mesh goes into the compressor to become carbon plate. And when that well let's move a couple of these overclockers over and speed this up. Meanwhile, why am I carrying a chunk loader? I was rearranging some things earlier. I guess I forgot to put that one away. Alright. Can we get away with four overclockers, or is it just too much on the power demand? Power supply. Looks like it's working. Okay, I'll be back when this is done. Do you ever have one of those mornings where you just can't seem to hit the right keys for anything? That's what I seem to be having today. Because uh, I just discovered that the scene that I had just recorded in which I manufactured this nano suit armor out of that carbon plate that I had just made up. And uh, it turns out that I was not recording when I thought I was. In any event, I'm going to leave the body armor here because I'm not going to be using it yet. I'm going to uh, need the jetpack. And so I've got the rest of the armor all built and it's charged up and so on. Let's see, let's just take and throw that in here. Okay, I've got the backpack just in case. I have the jetpack. I'm going to charge up real quick. just to make sure it's all the way up. And now it's time to head over to the nether and see about getting some glowstone. And yes, I'm bringing my good uh, fortune pick, my good diamond fortune pick with me. Because I want to get the most I can out of it. Uh-huh. Okay, just curious. Alright, let's have a look in this new fangled unleashed nether. Okay. Looks like the portal is in an enclosed area. That's good. question is now is where are we going to find glowstone and I'm kind of assuming not here so let's have a look down this way um, after I stop and do one very sensible thing waypoint new waypoint another exit visible only in the nether and let's make it nice bright white so it's easy to see and I'm gonna have to adjust the visibility of the rest of my waypoints some other time alright let's see Looks like a stairway made up here, and there's a tunnel that way, so let's have a look and see what's up here. Uh, okay, nothing. Alright, let's head along here. Let's have a look at our map here. Okay, this tunnel goes quite a ways. And I'm sure that a bunch of the initial glowstone has already been harvested. Okay. I'm going to end up traveling out through the end of this thing. That's fine. I believe I see glowstone. Excellent. Alright. Jetpack. 
2500 just durability I have a little bit of cobble let's rock oh this one's closer and there's nether quartz and probably assorted other things around glowstone harvesting procedure. Find it, build a cobblestone platform under it, and then harvest it preferably with a fortune equipped tool. And hopefully quickly enough to not attract the attention of ghasts and basically GTFO long before they take an interest. like a translucent mushroom. Okay. Well, we'll have plenty of opportunity. Oh, oops. Wrong tool. We'll have plenty of opportunity to investigate the strange and new things in the nether in another trip. Right now, we're all about the glowstone. Almost sounded like a scream out of the boo update. <laughs> and I lost some of that glowstone to the ground. Alright. Let's go ahead and break down my platform and not leave a useless platform hanging here. That kind of thing gets unsightly after a while, even in the nether. Produce 1k EU. Okay. I have a feeling we may at some point be quarrying the nether. Won't that be interesting? 29 glowstone. Not exactly a lot, but it's enough for the next step. Oh, spiders. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here in the nether. And I just see the other thing that I'm here for. These bone structures. And that's what they are. They're bone structures. Apparently, these bone segments can be put in a macerator to get bone meal. Well... I take that back. You can put them in a crafting table to get bone meal. I'm not sure if maybe perhaps you can get more by putting them in a macerator. I'm going to try and find out. So I'm going to grab all the bone segments out of this one and this over here. And my 
bone meal issues will now be solved without having to uh, mess with a thousand dinner bone skeletons. A prospect I do not find enjoyable. <laughs> Oh, damn fire bats. I hate those things. Ugh. Uh, you know what? I've got some bone meal. I've got some glowstone. Let's GTFO get out of here while I still have enough jetpack to do it. Okay, another exit is this way. I will tunnel if need be. that out for a backpack. And I'm just going to dig my way back to the exit, get out of here, and I'll meet you back at the base where we will build the next piece of this batch of gear. Okay, we're back. We've got all this goodies here, some tainted soil and nether rack. It turns out it's a stack and a half of glowstone. That's good. I even picked up a little bit of nether quartz. Now, let's see if mass readers can make more of these bone segments. Let's see. First, I can get 12 out of a large bone segment. Alright, what happens? Can I put it in here? No. Okay, that, that's fine. Small bone segments get three apiece. Mediums get six. And the large ones get twelve. Okay. That's a good healthy amount of bone meal to start with. Excellent. And then of course we've got glowstone. So, we can proceed to the next step in this armor. Which is the advanced nano chest plate. More carbon plate, some glass fiber, advanced circuit, the nano suit body armor, and the advanced electric jetpack. Get the advantage of the advanced electric jetpack and be able to uh, take some punishment because you'd have the, the armor capability of the barmer, body armor. Okay, and some redstone. I should probably set one of these up just for making advanced circuits because I know I'm going to need more of them. So we drop this here and there. And where's that carbon fiber? Oh, hell, there are only three of them. Alright. Get the overclockers, pop them in here. And get one more of these made. And I'll be back. Okay, here's our last carbon plate. Actually, it's not the last. I know I'm going to need several more, but it's the last for this part of it. The last ingredient for this thing is the advanced electric jetpack, which, as you may recall, is an expensive booger. These engine boosters, in particular, you need two of these advanced heat vents, which are made from two heat vents and a diamond. The heat vents are like so and so on. It's not actually too difficult and I don't consider it to be too expensive. It's just there is a lot of steps. And so I'm going to frankly I'm going to work on this off camera because it's going to take me about probably 20 minutes to get this thing made with all the different steps involved. So I'll be back when we're ready to throw this together. All right. 
getting down the road to this thing. I just got the carbon plates finished for here. And now the next two pieces is a jet pack, conveniently I have one, and an advanced lap pack. Alright, let's go ahead and throw the jet pack in here. And now for the advanced lap pack, take a backpack up and an advanced circuit and the lapis which I was ready to do before but I didn't have the glowstone for the advanced circuit now I do there's the lap pack and the lap pack gets upgraded to the advanced lap pack with an advanced circuit lapo crystal and the lap pack all right uh, energy crystal and then a Lapatron crystal with two regular circuits and that and some lapis there's our Lapatron crystal need another advanced circuit and our lap pack okay let's get the right order here advanced lap pack and now I believe we plug that in there and we have advanced electric jet pack all right now that's pretty cool all by itself, but it doesn't give you any armor. It gives you some really good long-range ability to fly, but no armor. But, you put it into this thing, and you've got the flying ability and the uh, armor value of the advanced nano chest plate. So you've got advanced electric jetpack and the nano suit body armor combined into one piece. I'm going to charge this up and I'll be back. Well, I can see by the MFE being down so low that I have completely drained the MFSU in this little bit of manufacturing and charging, but that's all right. It will have plenty of time to recharge. And I'm just going to ditch the bone meal in here, too. All right. Let's see if I remember correctly. F to turn the jetpack on. And the modifier key to enable hover mode. Maybe it's not as fast as the uh, force armor with the speed on it. But that's alright. I'm actually good with that. Because this is the degree of... This is the kind of flying I'm accustomed to. That I, got it, that I got used to in the last mod pack in Ultimate because it's steady it has a lot of juice it will last a long time and plus it also has armor capabilities so one of the things I'm going to be doing here soon and probably right now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a trip into the nether and collect a lot more glowstone and bone fragments and that will give me the stuff I need for all the white material on here and some other things and then of course there is a matter of I need to get a cactus farm put together to take advantage of that and get producing lots of cactus so I figure what I should probably do is right over here build a cactus farm, an automatic cactus farm, something that will uh, dump the cactus out where it can be picked up by an obsidian pipe and routed into a barrel. And that way there will be less of a shortage of cactus. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.